in this video, I'm going to go over how to use GeoGebra. Um, so when you go to geogebra.org slash geometry, this is the screen that comes up. GeoGebra is basically a software where you can do geometric constructions. Um, you could actually do any geometric construction that you want using these tools. Um, traditionally, we would use a compass and a straight edge to do a lot of these, um, but considering we're doing a remote environment, I figured I'd show you how to do it using GeoGebra. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to go over the basic tools that we will be using. Um, I'm not going to go into depth. If you click on more, there's a lot of tools that we could go over. Um, but for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to go over the basic tools. Um, I'm also going to teach you how to actually um, change the color of different objects that you create, change the labels for everything. So we're going to go through just the basics today. So you're automatically going to be on this move tool, um, which means you could move. I mean, you can't tell I'm moving anything because um, there's nothing really there yet. Um, but I'll kind of teach you how to use this move tool after I show you the other tools. Okay, so the first tool I'm going to go over is the point tool. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. Um, now this blank white space right here, in geometry we call that a plane. Not like an airplane, um, but a plane in geometry is just basically a two-dimensional flat space that we can put these objects on. Now you could think of it like a piece of paper. So for a traditional classroom, when we do constructions by hand, your plane would just be the sheet of paper that you're doing your construction on. But in this case, we have a virtual plane, which is just a two-dimensional space that I'm going to plot points and lines and shapes on. So to use your point tool, you just click on point, and then you click anywhere on your plane, and it will produce a point. So I can, you know, produce a bunch of points anywhere I want on my plane. Um, and note that it will auto-label your points in alphabetical order, so you can actually see exactly the order at which I plotted all these points, um, which is actually really nice, especially as we um, do some constructions uh, later on in the course. Okay, so um, that is our point tool, um, pretty basic there. Um, next, we're gonna go over our segment tool. So you click on segment. Now in order to make a segment, you need to plot two points. So the difference between a line and a segment is a segment ends, it needs to have end points. So you're gonna plot your first point, and then you're gonna plot your second point, and that segment ends at the endpoints. It doesn't go past it. If it went past points A and B, off in both directions, it would actually just be a line. Okay, um, so now let's plot a line. Same idea here. So a line needs two points. So you click on your line tool, you plot two points in your plane, and notice that line goes off in both directions past those endpoints um, infinitely. All right, so um, one thing that I'd like you to note here, um, which should kind of be a refresher from Algebra 1, is that two points determine a line. You need to plot two points in, either to, in order to have a line. And it might be somewhat familiar from Algebra 1 when we did slope. So in order to find the slope of a line, you guys drew some slope triangles, um, you would need two points to determine that. Okay. So kind of linking that to Algebra 1 a little bit. We'll do some more um, in-depth analysis of that later on in the course. Okay, so we'll undo that. The next tool I'm going to go over is the Polygon tool. So similar to the point and the segment and the line, you're basically just plotting a bunch of points on this um, virtual plane. But um, a polygon specifically is a shape that is enclosed, can't be, have any open parts to it, um, a shape that's enclosed and it has to have three or more sides. Now that means you need to plot three or more points in order to create a polygon. And the number of points you plot is going to be equal to the number of sides it's going to have. So let me give you an example. Let's say I want to plot a pentagon. So I need to plot five points. So there's point one, point two, point three, point four, point five. Okay, I plotted my fifth point, but note a polygon has to be fully enclosed 
So I have to finish it off by ending where I began. So that is a five-sided figure that is fully enclosed. So I plotted my five points, I ended where I began to close off that shape, and I've created my polygon. Okay. And last but not least, uh, our circle with a center tool. This one's really nice, um, and I'll show you why in a moment. So you start by uh, plotting your point. The first point that you plot when you use this tool, and like I said, there are other circle tools, so this one's just the one that says specifically circle with center. You start at your center, so that first plot, um, plotted point is your center, and then you go out and you can choose how large or how small your circle is. So let's say I want it to be this big. This, the distance from A to B, is your radius. So the first plot, uh, point that you plotted is your center, and then we go out to a given radius. Okay, and that just determines how big or small you want your circle. Okay, so here's where it gets a little bit fun, um, and you can be a little creative with it. So I'm going to teach you how to change colors, change um, the labels of points. Now, it can be fun and creative, but also this is a good skill to know because when we start doing constructions, it's really nice to color code your steps. So now that we've plotted this lovely circle, I can play around and change the color of it. So you switch to your move tool. Now this tool has a lot of different functions. So one, you could actually physically move things around if you wanted to. Note it stays a circle, right? Um, if I didn't click on that point, it just moves the object like that. I can move this point anywhere I wanted, right? Um, it remains a circle, but it will change the dimensions if you move points that are locked onto a shape. But if I just wanted to move the circle as a whole, you just click anywhere that's not a point, basically. Okay, so that's one function of the move tool. Now, staying on the move tool, I could actually take this point and I have some options here. So I can change that label. Let's say I don't want it to be A, I wanna have my center be O. Okay, so you just change it there and then it automatically changes it to O instead of A. The other thing you can do is you can take this point and actually change its color. So, um, actually, let's go here. So this will change its color. I want it to be red now. Um, the nice thing is you can uh, do this plus sign right here and you have a lot of color options. So like, I really like pink, so I'm gonna make it pink, right? Um, so that's kind of nice. Um, the other thing you can do if you click on where it's a circle right here, you can change the actual symbol that they use as um, your point and you can make it bigger or smaller if you wish. Um, if you notice back when I was changing the color and I um, used that plus sign, there's a bunch of more advanced um, things that you can do and feel free to play around with it. Um, but those are kind of the basic ones that I'd like you to know. Now you could do any object. So that was a point that I decided to change the color for. I could actually just this entire line, like the, or I guess it's not a line, but the um, line that's around my circle, right? I can change that color and I can change the thickness or width of it. I can change it to dashed. So um, these tools are really helpful when, you know, you want to color code certain things. You can even change the whole circle um, in color as well. Let's see if it'll let me after I change that. Actually, I think it needs to be a polygon. So I'm gonna make a polygon real quick to show you. So circle, I think, has to stay um, white in the middle, but you can change the outline of it. Um, so I just made this polygon. It's a quadrilateral, it has four sides. Um, I'm gonna go back to my move um, tool and I can actually change the entire shape color by clicking anywhere in the middle. And you can change the transparency too. So I want it to be super, uh, I don't really like blue, let's go with purple. So I'm able to change that whole shape color, okay? The last thing that I wanted to share with you was the show hide object um, and then also the show hide label. So when you make your design um, after you've watched this video, these are really helpful just for more aesthetics uh, than anything. But let's say like I don't want you to see any of these points that I plotted on my circle, I can uh, click on show hide object and click on those points. Notice they get lighter, right? And then if I click on any other tool, they go away. 
let's say, oops, I actually really did want to have those there. You just click on show hide object again, and then you click on them again. Okay. And then the last tool I wanted to show you was the show hide label. Let's say I don't want you to see that that one's O and that one's B. You just click show hide label and you click on the letters or the points themselves um, and those will go away. Um, if, if you did that on accident and you did want them, you can always just click back on the points and it will relabel for you. Okay, so that is it for this video. Like I said, there's all these other really cool tools that we'll end up using eventually, but I really want you guys to learn the math behind them all before I actually give them to you. Mm -hmm.